Hello there, Master Hellish Hero, and welcome to a special video. This year is going to be my 10th year creating content, and I want to do a few special videos throughout the year to kind of mark and celebrate that. Now, this is going to be my January video. Yes, I know it's a little bit late. I was unwell for a little while. But we are going to look back at a very old video, and I'm going to... Yeah, just see what it's what was like. What 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 was my videos like back then, ten years ago? So the video I have chosen is uh, an early video in my first Open TTD Let's Play series. Now I haven't chosen the first video because I want to be able to review some of the network and things that I'm doing within that video. So. Yeah, I've, I've done that on purpose, and the video is coming towards the end of the year. I think it's like a November, December video. So this video is roughly nine years and six months old. So we're getting close to that 10-year mark. And uh, the first thing to say about it is, is that I'm not going to download it and display it on the screen properly because uh, to make it like nice, high quality and stuff, because it's 720p. Here it is, look. Back then, my videos weren't even full HD. I was doing them in 720p. These days, I record them in 1440. Uh, it's also 30 frames per second. I record in 60 frames per second. And yeah, the, the just the quality of the image now is just completely different. Uh, so this is how we're going to watch it. We're actually going to watch it via YouTube. <laughs> because there's no point in trying to get a decent quality. I've just got it on my screen here. So the first thing I've noticed straight away, before I've even hit play, is the quality is now a lot better than it used to be. And here we've got the old intro. Uh, we've got the old intro with the old background. I used to use this kind of grid background thing for almost everything at the time I started my YouTube channel. I'd have it as my background for my monitors. I would have it on the background of my website. Uh, these days we've moved on from that graphic now. We've gone on to kind of the slowly evolving uh, light bluish sort of background with the Red Master Hellish text uh, for most things. Interestingly here though, we have got uh, the Welcome to the Show music, which I've used pretty much throughout the entirety of my uh, my YouTube-iness, uh, my videos and so forth. However, um, I didn't start with Welcome to the Show, I started with something else, and I'm not going to play you it because the copyright on uh, on that video is not what, uh, on that music, is not what I was expecting. Um, it was, I, I misinterpreted the kind of language of what it was. It was all very new to me and I thought that I could use it and it turned out I couldn't. Uh, so I very quickly changed the music to something else. I chose welcome to the show. Uh, the link to, uh, to that and, and, and the information all about welcome to show is always in the video description. Um, and I'm really pleased I did. I think it's a, a, a nice introduction they the welcome to the show and all that as well but it also works well over a longer period of time for an in, uh, for a, like a, on the live streams when we've got the countdowns and stuff hello there master hellish here and welcome back to open ttd right i'm gonna stop it again no face cam i i, I this is the real life face cam of me now and i've just put it anywhere on the screen because it doesn't really matter that much because I had no face cam back then. I didn't bother with a webcam. And I didn't bother with, for, with a webcam for a very long time. Because I thought, like, I genuinely thought, who would want to see my face? I'm like, I'm not a model or anything. This is a face for radio, as they say. Um, but later on in, in, in my videos, I decided that, uh, yeah, I, you know, it's not about me and my face and sitting here looking pretty. Here, it's about me and my interaction with you, and it's about engaging with you, and it's about you seeing my reaction to things, my my thinking face. You can tell that I'm... You know, if there's a short pause in the video, and, and I'm not saying anything for a moment, I'm working it out. You know, the face says a bit more. It, it adds something to it. And I actually did a poll f with my viewers before I started doing it. And um, a 
about like the same amount said yes and no and there was a load of maybes uh, or don't minds in the middle and I thought to myself I think it's a good thing and if you take the yeses and the don't minds or maybes together they far outweigh the noes so let's do it and I'm glad I did I'm glad I did put um my face on here now uh I don't like plastering my face or my voice all over but after 10 years, now, I'm used to my voice. This train here keeps breaking down constantly because that's our experimental. So I'm going to send it um, to the depot and we're going to let all these other monorail trains through. Ah, right. So this is something that I didn't know back in those days. So I said that was an experimental train. It is an experimental train. Uh, and now I know that dealing and, and like um, getting, letting an experimental train run is pointless. Like in Open TTD, there's no reason why you would say, "Oh yeah, I'll have that experimental vehicle, and I'll try and get its reliability up," because its reliability will just be what it is. Uh, it, I did some testing, and doing uh, a, running a train and not running a train had the same reliability when the train was released later anyway. Um, so you may as well just not use the terrible train and wait until it comes out and the reliability is better if you're playing with breakdowns. Oh my word, there's loads of them. Um, in fact, I bet our profits have probably took a bit, well, I don't know, maybe it took a bit of a dip. It'd be nice if it did get off the main line. Hang on a minute. Hang on a second, turn round. Oh, so, okay, I this depot design, we're gonna talk about the depot design. Uh, what I might do is, let it run but pause it uh, pause the volume for a little bit so um here this depot that i've got here i haven't got enough run either left or right now there is enough room here for a train to sit um off the main line but there's not enough room for a train to come in and then turn into the depot because as soon as a train will turn into that depot it will slow right down and if the back of the train is still on the main line that's a very bad thing so actually those depots off the main line are almost pointless. You may as well have them on the main line. Uh, the kind of slip in and slip out. Oh my goodness, look at the quality of the bit right there. That is horrendous. So um, yeah, you, you need longer junctions on that. So that's terrible. Uh, the bit rate on the screen there, I don't know what settings I was using in the past now. Uh, I'm currently streaming at 20,000 kilobits to YouTube. In my live streams which i don't know what the comparable quality is now and it's not perfect open ttd is a very difficult game for encoders to to get right and render um but uh, that is a lot worse even at 720p it looks horrendous because the the smaller the resolution and the less frames if you keep the same bit rate you can actually end up with a better quality image um but that was definitely not the case junction over here seems to uh be okay no. I mean also back then I wouldn't have been able to stream uh, at, or well I would have been able to record at those rates but I wouldn't be able to stream at those rates my internet just wasn't good enough I don't think we're getting that many coming in from down here they're all slowly coming back and forth we need more we need more trains right so I'm gonna clone that train with shared orders Good, happy to see shared orders even back then. And there's a lot of mail, but no mind, don't care about mail so much. Um, I should care about mail. Mail's really good for profit. If you can, if you've got a lot of mail, you should shift the mail. Uh, I can't remember the exact ratio, um, but if you click on a town, it will tell you the maximum amount of passengers it will provide and the maximum amount of mail it will provide. And you can kind of see the ratio of the passengers to mail, and it's good to get the mail vans on there because mail pays a lot more than passengers. So not using the mail is uh, quite a bad thing. You, you should, if, you, if you are doing mail, you should take all of the mail. I'm guessing we had a multiple of five, so there's five more. Six, seven, eight. This is actually a change in the game here. I'm having to click clone train and then click the train and then click clone train again. Um, sometime between then and now, uh, the developers of the game changed it so that you uh, didn't have to keep clicking clone train. Clone train stayed um, selected until you deselected it. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. Almost certain. Shared orders. There we go. And uh, let's set them all going. So if we speed up the game just slightly. Oh, here's something I haven't mentioned yet. Um, I'm playing with the uh, Z-based graphics or the Z-based graphics, depending on which part of the world you're in. Um, I a lot of people like them the the z base graphics and there's also a lot of people that don't like the z, uh, the z base graphics um and there's a bit of a split and i actually have an internal split about the same thing as well i like the um i like the higher resolution i like the more detail that you get but i don't like the extra saturation and uh, it looks a little less real it looks a little bit more fake uh, and a little bit but you know it's yeah I, I'm kind of in the middle about Zbase and one of the main reasons why I don't use it is because if I'm explaining or showing videos one of the first things that people think is uh, oh that looks different to mine what's going on and that's one of the reasons why I try not to use mods in my tutorials right so <clears throat> also this station design what is that you should have dedicated platforms for those lines. You shouldn't have trains coming in from both sides competing for the platforms. I mean, you can, you could do, but the design should have been better for much better flow there. I mean, nearly all of it. I mean, this terminus station design is not great. I mean, it seems to be doing the job. And also train length. Here I'm using, what, it looks like length four trains for most of these stations. Uh, these days I use uh, a minimum of six for most normal operations. Let's see. Uh, let's see if Lincoln will allow me to just completely remove. I'm not quite sure why I'm removing that. Presumably I want to do an expansion out of that station or something. Hmm, that's surprising. I didn't think they would allow that. Okay. Well. There we go. I'm going to just add a station in here. First of all, I'm going to take all that out. Oh, I think I'm adding another back part of the station. Uh, this makes sense. Electrified rail. There we go. Uh, I'll have it in this orientation. And I'm just going to leave one gap. And we're going to link it to Lincoln there. It's part of the Lincoln station. But... Um, now it's got its own set of platforms. This is actually a good way of doing that. Um, and it's a, a one good reason why you might want to allow spread stations um, in a uh, multiplayer game so that people can do things like this. Get multiple platforms, but not quite have them connected. He's in the way. Oh my goodness, I'm using block signals everywhere. I've only just noticed. Oh, the signal in is terrible. I thought we had a pile up on the cards there. Okay, I think that's all the directions I need there. So, it's... I mean, what I would do, let's say that, for example, that this uh, maximum station spread is 12 in the game. I, I can't remember what the default is. I, th I think it might actually be 12. You'd be better off with like a 6 and a 5 or a 5 and a 5 with a gap down the middle um, to get longer trains. Um, and then Lincoln Central. Oh, hang on a moment. Some of these do appear to be path signals. Yes. Okay, so I'm using a mixture of path and block signals. Not very much. You, you don't need to use block signals at all. Check our station list. Uh, and we'll sort by uh, waiting cargo value. That is a good thing, a good tip to do. It shows up where there's a lot of things that you um, uh, you need to address. So you can see where the stuff's building up and where you might need to add more trains or improve your layout. Monorail mail. Oh. <laughs> I stopped a train in the middle of nowhere and, and I just completely blocked up the whole network there. That was a terrible thing for, for me to do. I don't know why I stopped the train there. Am I just forcing it into a depot? I'm on a rail train out of the way here because <laughs> all the mail's stacking up and. Oh. 
That was, that was terrible. a terrible idea. It really is. Yeah, I agree with right. me. So, that terrible. train, absolutely, utterly useless. I'm getting rid of it. Yes, get rid of the useless the train. It was horrendous. Everything yeah. was horrendous. There we go. Also here, I'm not using double depots. Uh, double depots are like, it's it's free throughput. It's not free because you have to buy an extra depot, but depots are cheap uh, compared to a lot of things in the game. Uh, free throughput, I would I would take an extra depot so that you can have one train going in one side and a train going out the other Check one. on the, uh, the amount of uh, mail happening here at Lincoln Central. We should get a load of monorail trains coming in. There's one. Now this station is obviously a bit weird because I was trying to fit more platforms within the footprint. It's not the worst station design, but I, I wouldn't do it like that now. Let's check out the uh, Nuntfield network. Oh, Nuntfield. I remember Nuntfield. Uh, I'm not sure these these particular ones over here are doing very good. Oh, look at this. This was my attempt to make some sort of depot siding that looked half normal, like half decent. The ratings? Which I've just done in my recent um, Series 10 Let's Play, which is fantastic. Uh, lots of... Did you see that? There's a random bit of track just here, sat in the middle of nowhere that I haven't noticed. That worked there too. I do seem to be going to this depot very often, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to take the depot out of the list of the shared orders. And, um, oh, oh yes, that's right. Last time we was going to address the issue of all our really old trains, weren't we? Oh dear. So uh, having a depot on the orders, I'm, I gen generally wouldn't do that anymore. Um... I can think of some scenarios where you might, but no. Uh, depot on the orders. Just let the trains go to the depots when they need to. Around here, yeah. They seem to be uh, filling up quite nicely. So we've got path signals on the end of these terminus platforms. You don't need them. They're completely unnecessary. Very good. Um, I've still got no idea where that junction's going, but whatever. Whoa, look, look at this junction! Okay, so I, I, in some ways, I got things right here with this junction. I don't know if we're going to be able to see a better view of it. It was on the... Mm, look at the quality of that image. It just looks like a pixelated mess. Uh, we might get to see it better in a minute, but the, the basic idea here is, is that you split off the, from the main line and you go along uh, for a little while to get your train off the main line before you do the sharp turn. So if you want to put sharp turns in on, on junctions... You put a wiggle in first to get them off the main line, and then you do your sharp turn because then the train might slow down. If the train slows down, then there's you're not slowing down uh, traffic on the main line there. Um, that kind of this this station though, this station here, there doesn't appear to be much wrong with that design apart from the fact that I can barely see it. Uh, the factory. How did you all put up with my videos? Thing I think. Got not. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that station design, really. We've got slightly too many goods trains, but um, we'll leave that for now, I think. Whilst these... Again, with a station length of four, I don't know why I was using such sh short station lengths. Uh, longer trains is better. You need less trains, you move through more on your network. As a general rule, there are some instances where a small train is appropriate. 24 years. Uh, let's go to replace vehicles. So we want to place electrify vehicles, and these are these are the forties. Um, okay, I have to say, overall, this video is not as bad as I was expecting. Um, I know that over the years, I've I've done lots of improvements. I always try and make things better, and I know that doing one massive improvement thing is very hard to do, and to do lots of small improvements is relatively easy but you can still have a massive effect so that's how i do things you might see that oh maybe my logo's changed all of a sudden or maybe i've upped the resolution of my recordings a little bit or the bitrate or fixed something here or added that feature there uh, getting replaced and uh, while i replace the vehicles i'll just tell you that i all of these changes do seem to accumulate into something that's much better but apart from the actual image quality here 
the, the video is not too bad. Uh, I thought I'd be cringing at everything that I was saying. Yeah, the network can improve. This is a monorail. I don't know do much more of it. This is... Unfield seems to be doing quite well. My voice is definitely a little bit more placid, a little bit more mumbly. Stuck on this network here. There was... Stuck on this network here. A bit more padded. Um, not... I like to speak clearly now. I mean, I, I I probably would have liked to then. Um, you got to remember that I'm I'm a very kind of introverted sort of person naturally. So to do this sort of presentation stuff was not natural to me at all. A siding over here. I have no idea what that siding's about. It's just for fun by the looks of it. Quite nicely. Um, I think we ought to expand this slightly though. How did you guys cope with this bit rate? Right? I might get rid of this depot. And put in another line. What? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the depot. Yeah, get rid of the depot. Uh, we're gonna have another line that comes down. That Was that a cut? Also work actually. The music just seemed to stop part way through there. What? Anyway, um, I'm going to put a little terminus uh, station in here. Okay. Uh, it's just gonna be two tracks. Two tracks? Why? Why not Straight make it bigger? It's also too short. Like that. Okay. And um, that's poor station and placement as well. In as well. Siding. Why am I putting a siding? Just, Put another just platform. Because. Just because. Okay. Right. <laughs> On my recent video about the Yogscast live stream and saying uh, how they could improve playing Open TTD, one of the things I said, in fact, the first thing I said was about station placement. That's terrible station placement. The reason why I put it there is just so that the track can be straight. And uh, single out. There we go. There appears to be a problem with that. No trains can get we into the few, uh, into one of those platforms there. Right now, how do they ed enter this depot? Delete the depot. From the other end. It is pointless. Hmm, that's a good question. You could do a loop in a bridge. There's a million different ways. I suppose they'd have to go down there. And go around. Well, yeah, but that'd be ridiculous. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens, shall we? I'm going to buy a new vehicle. Find out! <laughs> I'm going to have to stop using electric trains soon and just do more monorail because these are all starting to get very old. I'm going to put a right, well, that's, some, that's actually something that I don't there. do anymore. I, I barely use monorail because um, usually by the time that monorail comes out, I've got a massive electrical network um and having that such a big network um is a, is a challenge to replace because you have to send all the vehicles to depot and all i mean i think there is some um some mods that can help with making that process easier i think it should be something that's a little bit easier in the base game but uh, the kind of getting the balance between it being easier and being too easy i think would be a difficult thing to do um, but yeah, I, I know these days I go straight from electrical railways uh, to maglev. In the depot? Don't, don't bother with monorail. I thought so. Oh! Oh, no. That's not what I wanted it to do. I didn't really want it to make that unrealistic turn there. Okay, so it looks like back in those days I used to play with 90 degrees turned on. That is the default setting in OpenTTD. And I disagree with it. I think the trains look ridiculous. I think that... Um, they shouldn't be allowed to turn like that, and I always change that setting. I think ever since I've I've learned about that setting, I've moved that, and yes, it's it's. I never play with ninety degree turns anymore, and I employ you to do the same. Um. <laughs> you can just change it in the game settings. Oh, and that train did a weird wiggle. moves there as well. Just went past the depots and broke down. It's meant to be a crossover, not meant to use it as a junction. Yeah. You need to change the game setting, hellish. Oh dear. Well, how can I fix that? Turn off 90 degree turns in the game settings. I think um, if I just take that out like that. 
What are you trying to do? And do mm -hmm. that. I don't know what you're that. doing. You're just moving the problem by a square. Take that out. Oh. Maybe. Would that prevent it from happening? Um. It would. I don't know what you're thinking here. Yeah. I mean, you need to move that other bit of track. That At bit least it prevent okay. them coming around this bit. And doubling back on There is a bit there where they could do... Okay, no, actually, so, I think that might do it. Um, I've outsmarted myself. Might still not get exactly what we wanted. But I mean, it's still ridiculous. You just turn the setting off and line, build okay. proper I'm tracks. I'm going to get the signals and remove these signals, though. Why am I removing those signals? Um, because Don't hold shift. The wrong type. On this particular network, I was going to be using the one-way path signals yeah. all over the network. Yes! Uh, one-way path signals all over the network is a must. Uh, oh, and this is where I think I'm going to notice the track problem. It should be all right now. There we go. Oh. I still didn't well, notice the track problem. They seem to be working okay, those two. It, it does seem um, to be working okay, I'm surprised. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all of these. So, uh, unable to locate depot. I'm not surprised, That's the network's terrible. Um, my, this is my thinking face happening now, I think. You can't see my thinking face. I'm, I'm thinking hard, but you don't know it. Because like, you can't see my face. Go to a depot. The music just stopped. Oh, Are you there? Come here. Oh. Why am I? Is, am I trying to make a realistic network round here? It looks like I am, because I'm doing slips and and switches and stuff in different ways. And those depots as well. I actually, go to plan most of this, but never mind. So this is actually something that I'm trying to do in the preservation lands at the moment, and I feel I'm already doing a better job of it. I'm stopped. That one can now find the depot. I think that's all of them. It's probably why we got the sidings. Yeah, that's all of them. No, it isn't. There's one left. I don't. I'm not, don't know why I'm not using the the orders at the station or the grouping to send them to, to the depot. Okay, so they should all be now in here. Oh, they automatically got changed. How handy. Uh, Looks like I've got auto renew turned on and I wasn't ready for that. Uh, I'm going to make them a little bit longer. No, hang on a minute. We'll put a mail van in first. Mail van. Mail van at the front. And we'll give them a that should really been two mail vans. Great them. There we go. They should be much more efficient. I mean, they'd be more efficient if they were longer length than four, but never mind. They're nice little trains, actually. Out they come. Out of the magic train depots of infinite length. Yeah, that's something that's bothered me for a very long time: is the infinite length of the train depots. I feel like. You should have a, you should have to place a length of depot like you place a length of station, and then you get the maximum length of train depending on how long your depot is. Let's check on, check on our trains. Ah, brilliant! They're all slowly getting sorted out. Let's just check on some. That looks like he'll get sorted out later. That one, yeah, where is he? He's in the middle of the network. It's quite. Oh, look at that junction! That is wrong in so many ways. Um, I mean, yes, it works, but you can only have one train moving. Oh, here we go. Things. There's a, we can get a better look at this um, section here now, where you can see that the trains. Um, I mean, the trains are coming off the middle line, crossing the outer line, and going all the way around. Um, no good, not good at all. Uh, don't cross your lines on busy junctions like this. Cured quite nicely. It wouldn't be too bad if stuff wasn't constantly. Breaking down. Why is that red? Oh, gold. It looks like I need to change the default service interval of the vehicles. They're breaking down too much on the network. Got it. And again, here, another bad junction. 
You should go like over or under the lines and then connect on the other side. Coal line there. I think it's half of these ones around here that just uh, cause stuff to break down constantly. Terrible junctions. Although, at least I'm using path signals, so like if a train is turning left and one wants Although, to go straight on, then it probably can do it. That's not great. Uh, Got a 90 degree I'm turn there, but is, I'm just going to put a path that's terrible. Signal here. And not, why am I putting that the signal? Junctions, uh, not the junction. The, oh, there's a train in there. I was going to say move the train slightly, but. I think you might find there's going to be lots of trains in there. Let's forward this in a little bit more, just so we can get that train out. Still a train in there. Block trains from going there's in. Two. Now there's Block trains from going in. Uh, now there's two. One again. Or is it a stopped train? Oh, it's a, no, it is a train that's... It is a train that's stopped. It's never going to come out. It's a stopped train. What sort of train was it? It is one carrying... Good. You, you got a goods train down there stopped in your depot, in your silly depot. Um, I'll put that okay, there. that's a nice improvement. Oh, oh, interesting. Is it going to be a forced depot? Oh, I'm doing a slip. I'm going to try this. See what it, see how it works. That would probably work quite well. I mean, given the correct signals. Yeah, let's see how that works. I mean, the train broke down, but so never mind. I'm just going to... Yeah, it there seems you go. That, that, that actually works a lot better. We can feed trains into that depot better. See, even now, I still learn different ways and things and techniques of how to do things. And this, I think, is here. Me having the idea of moving that depot off the line to I'll free up the main line uh, that's going into that station. Um, so it's starting to think about getting those trains off that network and out the way when they're going to be serviced. Things, these trains were the uh, ones that really needed sorting out this episode. They seem to be all looking spit spot and up to date. Spit spot. Um, hopefully we should see enough better operating profit. Spit spot. Let's have a look at I say spit spot to my daughter now because she's seen Mary Poppins recently and I try and get her moving out the door in the mornings for school. Been replacing. Come on, spit spot. Okay, I think. Look at the bezel around the um, user interface, around the buttons and stuff. You can turn that on now. Um, I don't know if it's something you could change before, but I might actually turn the bezel back on. We've got eight old trains left. That's fine. Well, we've got old trains, but I'm sure we've got old, yeah, lots and lots of old buses and stuff and trucks. So we've got, uh, this is road vehicle number one. Let's check out road vehicle number one. Where yeah, are why not? They're all broken down here at uh, this station, so bus uh, truck depot. Let's see about replacing them, shall we? What am I doing? So, uh, livestock van. Okay, we're using auto replace at least. Grain truck, we've finished replacing that, that's good. Buses, we can upgrade to that bus if we want to, but the maximum... So here the prop, the main problem is, is the vehicle is old, not the vehicle type is not, isn't like no longer used or something anymore. Um, the, what I need to do is go into the game settings and change the auto renew for old vehicles, not the replacement tool. So uh, I'll arrange to do that. Uh, I'll do a few now, and what I might do is I might just pop the rest in off the camera, so there's the first batch. Again, manually going around all the vehicles instead of just clicking on the station and looking at the vehicle list. And they all should head to one of the three depots. Got two there in, in frame at the moment. Broken down, head in there, broken down, stopped, stopped, stopped. Stopped and last one. There we go. Broken down in the in it the, the thing itself. Right, what's this? Auto replace all road vehicles in the depot. 
well we can't do that because there's no new version they're just really old yeah they're just really old they're not going to a different sort clone the new one you want to change the game setting hellish there's a game setting for the auto renewing of vehicles and their age I think by default it's six months after they get too old. If you change it to like a month before they get old, you shouldn't see old vehicles. And then they've got shared orders now, which is unless they're going down a road towards a depot and it's taking them longer than a month or something. So much stuff on the screen today. Okay, so we've got new trucks on the way. Now let's have a look. Um... Look at what. Are you trying to fix that one these now? These ones are all part of the same. Oh no, they were heading to the different one. So uh, let's add that to the. Let's clear the screen. There's too much stuff there. Here, I've got a, I've got a station in between two uh, farms. Really, I should have put the station at one of the farms and just had one road network. This is actually something I saw the Yogscast do, and in my Yogscast video, I called out somebody for doing that. Um, who was it? I can't remember who it was now that did it, but one of them did that, and I I called them out for doing it. And I've done it here in this nine and a half, nearly ten year old video. Delete the other two in that one, and delete the three in that one. Perfect. And then control clones. We've got shared orders amongst these. I mean, doing it like this is going to fix the problem, but really. I mean, it's getting round the problem. You should, I should change the game settings so that they auto renew quicker. Road vehicles, yeah. Look at those profits down here that need sorting out, but uh, I'll sort them out at a later point. I just wanted to check on our aircraft. Thing. Using planes. Aircraft have all been replaced quite recently. I think we did them just before the trains. Groups. We're all doing quite well. Profit. Am I using groups? All looking fairly, fairly. That's another thing. Look at the font size. It's tiny. Back then I was using, I think, the basic in-game fonts and I've changed them since then. So hopefully it's easier for you guys to see the bigger fonts on smaller devices. Next time, though, I'm tempted to start working on some canals. Why? Why use canals? And bring some of this oil from these oil rigs. Presumably just for the fun of it. To some sort of dock, maybe over here and uh, get it processed at one of these oil refineries. That cloverleaf like is not a good that version. Would be nice to do. Um, so, right. Oh my goodness. I think that'll do for, for this time. Oh, that's There's horrible. Patches without trees here. Maybe we can sort that out sometime. That's later. from where a farm used to be. They'll grow in. It's fine. Everything's starting to, uh, to come together now. Not that we can see that. Going on. And I think it'd be nice if we had some uh, canals around Lincoln next time. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been Open TTD. I've been Master Hellish, and until next time, goodbye. Oh my goodness. The video's not even over yet. We got the ending, the credits. Oh yeah, let's have a quick look at that. So, here we go. This so just shows how old it was. You've got Google Plus down there in the corner. That's not a thing anymore. Um, you couldn't click elements on the screen back then, so there's no point in doing overlays and things. Um, and also, this next episode thing, I used to put one episode out behind the previous one all the time, just so that I could take a clip from the next episode and put it at the end of this one. Um, and whilst that's a nice thing to do, it's a lot of effort for just a tiny little thing. And usually by now, everybody's clicked off the video, because as soon as you say goodbye on a video, the amount of people watching just on the graph just whoop, just disappears. Just absolutely disappears. Well, I I didn't know what to expect there because I deliberately didn't watch one of the videos before I just recorded this. So you got my live actual reaction. It's actually been a little bit of a long video, but you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm kind of glad. Um, we had a good look at that. Overall, it's not as bad as I thought it might be. The 
production of it is obviously not as good as what it is, what I do now. Um, 720p is terrible, obviously high resolution now. We've got higher frame rate now, higher bit rates. We've got a camera with the interaction like this. And I, now I've got this switcher where I can switch between different things and stuff. I tend not to do that within a video, but I got it there if I want to in live streams. He says doing it in a video. Um, you know, and... But overall, like... Oh, all the rail networks. The rail networks are something that could definitely have been improved. Um, I'm much better at the game now than I was then, and I should hope so. With like nearly ten years of playing the game, you would you would hope to have got better, and I feel like I really have there. I've I've learned a lot since then. I didn't realize how much I've learned since then. Um, and they're not horrendous. Um, they they work. Okay, they're, 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 those some of those junctions were pretty horrendous, where all the tracks were just crossing each other like lettuce. Com compared to what I know now and how... I, I mean, I, I wouldn't expect a beginner to uh, to do those sorts of tra tracks. And I wouldn't... If they did do those sorts of, like, lattice junctions I that look like potato waffles, I wouldn't... I wouldn't berate them for that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, say, oh, you've done a terrible junction there. You're terrible at the game. I would. I might say, you know, you can improve that junction. There's there's some better ways you can do it, um, but I wouldn't necessarily necessarily expect a new person to to go straight from that. So it's nice to know that I have progressed and and I've done better now. And I think as a community, we've also grown. Like there's more knowledge in my community about how to play Open TTD well. And uh, I'm definitely not the best Open TTD player in the world. Oh. There are so many more people out there that are better at that game than me. Um, but um, we have a nice community and we like to play Open TTD, and I'm glad about that. You know, my actual presentation in terms of my voice and the things I was saying and doing, that's not as bad as what I thought. I was I was getting ready to sit here and and to cringe hard throughout the whole thing. But I didn't. And I don't know what that says. Does that say that I haven't grown much? Uh, does it say that my opinions haven't changed much? About how good I should be? My expectations? Or was I just okay at doing it back then as well? Hmm. Well, you know what, folks? I would really like to hear your thoughts on this as well. Pop them all down in the comments. What do you think I'm better at now? What do you think I've improved at? What was terrible back then? And all of that sort of stuff. Anything you want to pop in there, put them in the comments. I do try and read them all, and I do try and reply to most of your comments as well, but it is so good to see them on the videos there, and yeah... Well, folks, uh, we're going to leave it there for now. Like I said, this was supposed to be the January video, so hopefully we'll have something cool and coming out in February as well. And I will see you all soon. Remember to keep up to date with everything I'm doing. If you're not already subscribed, do that. Get yourself on that notification bell and all the good stuff. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a like. Uh, let me know. Uh, I do look at what videos get more likes than others to try and gauge your your love for different videos in my channel so um, all that sort of stuff not only does it help the algorithm but of course i keep an eye on that sort of thing too so um you know it's good to know thank you very much everybody take care and i'll see you soon goodbye